Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I want to show you how to create the grungy urban look of worn away graffiti. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Choose a concrete or brick wall that preferably includes some kind of distress within it. I downloaded this background from cgtextures.com. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the original. Call up your Type tool and then click on the Character Text box. I'm choosing a font called Garage Shock Condensed Heavy that you can download for free at defont.com. Click on the color box and choose a color for the inside of your text. Click on your document and type out your words. Click on the FX icon and choose Stroke. When the layer style window opens, click on Color. Choose a color for the stroke and click OK. Increase the size to the thickness you want. I'm choosing 13 pixels for this text. Click on Inner Shadow and then click on the color. I'm clicking on the lighter part of the wall to pick up its color. I'll change the blend mode to normal and the opacity to 100 percent. I'll choose 5 pixels for the size the distance will be 8 pixels and the choke will be 64 percent. Keep in mind depending on the size, resolution and characteristics of your text you may find different numbers work better for you. Right click the text layer and choose convert to smart object. We're going to change the perspective of the text to match the wall. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the layer. This will call up its selection. Then press Ctrl C or Command C to copy the text. Hide the text layer and then press on the new layer icon. We'll rename the top layer Perspective Text. Go to Filter and Vanishing Point. When the Vanishing Point window opens make sure the top left icon is highlighted. Click on four points of your image that will create a grid that follows the perspective. As long as you see a blue grid, you're fine. But if it changes to yellow or red, you'll have to readjust your grid until it turns blue. Click on the middle points to drag out the grid. Then press Ctrl or Command V to paste the text into the vanishing point window. When you drag the text inside the grid, it instantly changes the angle of the text to match the grid's perspective. To reduce or enlarge the text within the grid, click on the transform icon, then click on a corner and drag it in or out. When you're happy with its size and position, click OK. Click on the base layer and drag it to the top. Press Ctrl or Command U to call up the hue saturation window. Drag the saturation slider all the way to minus 100. Then press Ctrl or Command as you click on the perspective text to call up its selection. Click on the layer mask icon and then click on the wall to make it active. Change the blend mode to hard light. This does a great job punching the wall's texture through the text. It's a bit too strong so we'll reduce the opacity to 70%. Let's add some paint drips and paint splatters. Press on the new layer icon and click on the arrow to open your brush thumbnails. Then click on the inner arrow to open your brush presets. I'm choosing Spray Paint Splatter which you can download for free from DeviantArt.com. For now I'm going to click OK so we can just see this set in the thumbnail window. I'll click on one of the thumbnails, reduce the size, and reduce the opacity to 70 percent. I'll go to an area and click once. I'll continue to add drips and splatters to the graffiti until it has just the right amount of a grungy hand sprayed look. The last step is to make the graffiti look more worn away. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the perspective text to call up its selection and then press the layer mask icon to make a layer mask. With the layer mask active press the letter D to make your foreground color black and your background color white. Now click on various areas of your graffiti text with your drip and splatter brushes. Using the graffiti's layer mask, we're hiding areas to reveal the wall behind it. Let's make the wall a little darker on the left to make it look like it's going back in space. Click on the new layer icon. Call up your gradient tool. Click on the gradient box. 
and make sure the linear gradient is highlighted and then click on the box in the lower left change the brightness to 50 percent and then click OK on both boxes bring your cursor to the left of your image hold down shift as you click and drag to the center and then release change the blend mode to linear burn and bring down the opacity to 50 percent you can see how this gives the wall more depth so here is our finished graffiti looking like it was spray painted by hand and worn away some by time this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV thanks for watching